Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error message. This mostly happens with macOS installations and typically comes up with users on an AMD system and sometimes Intel systems as well. So this is a compatibility issue with VirtualBox and there is a solution that we can use to work around it. You just need to enter in a couple of commands. So let's get to it. So in order to fix this problem, what we need to do is spoof VirtualBox into believing it's using a compatible CPU. This command is the most successful one, but there's a list of other CPUs here that will also work if this one does not work for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm also going to put a link in the description to my blog that'll list all the CPUs as well. So you can interchange the Intel Core i7 6700K into something else if this one does not work for you. So now let me just quickly walk you through the steps of entering the command. So here we are at the desktop. I'm just going to open up VirtualBox and I have two Mac OS's loaded in here. I have Catalina and I have High Sierra. See, we're having problems with High Sierra. So we have to make sure that we know the name of the VirtualBox machine. And this is High Sierra. So it's in here with no spaces. And then I'm going to open up my notepad here and we're going to change the name of this VBox, right? So we have to make sure that we enter in the exact same name that we're using here. And what we're using here is called High Sierra. So I'm just going to type in High Sierra with no spaces. And uh, that looks good. And I'm just going to minimize this. And now we're going to completely exit the VirtualBox Manager. So go to the File and Exit. And now we're going to open up our File Explorer quickly here. It's typically installed in the C drive under Program Files, and then Oracle and then VirtualBox. So here it is. This is the default location that most users will have it. All the files are listed in here. So this is the full path. And I'm showing you this because we need to know exactly where it's installed to run the command. So we'll minimize that. And we're going to open up our command prompt. And inside the command prompt, we're going to change directories to that directory we just found. So we're going to type in CD for change directory, and then we're going to enter in the full path. So it's C program files, Oracle, VirtualBox. Okay. And then I have quotations on each side. When you hit enter, if it's successful, you'll see the prompt here and you're located in that directory. So now we're going to highlight the command that we have here with high Sierra entered in. That's important. Uh, we're also going to make sure that there's two dashes here. If there's one, it's not going to work. Make sure there's two dashes and we're going to be using the most successful one, which is the Intel I Intel Core i7 6700K. Now there's quotations on the end of it. Make sure you have those both in there. And then we're going to just going to highlight this, copy it, and then we're going to paste it in and then hit enter. It takes a couple seconds. You come back to the prompt. It's fit successfully run. Uh, you won't get any error messages if there's no issues. And then you can just close out of this, shut it down, and then open up VirtualBox. So that's it. You can start up your machine if it's not working. Uh, this should take care of that error message. If you have any other issues, put it down in the comments below. I'll do my best to help you out. And thank you for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.